Hello and good evening. I decided to make this clip. It's my first one in English. After I had the opportunity to read an article from a Romanian journal from 1991. A very interesting article. Its name was The Secret Manuscript of Nostradamus Found in the Athos Mountain. Uh, this article is from a French book. Its name is Le Mystère de Michel de Notre Dame by Roland Dassigny and Mark Diesel. To be honest with you, I searched for this book on the internet. I didn't found it. Maybe you will have the occasion. I don't know. I don't know even if the information provided in this book are true or false. I'm not the one to decide to say it if are wrong or no. So, what was with this article. The Athos Mountain is a very famous place in the Orthodox uh, world. So, uh, Nostradamus, Nostradamus is a very famous prophet. From my point of view, it's the most famous prophet, prophet from the history of the humankind. What's uh, written in that art article? The article begins with the presentation of a doctor from Marseille, Pierre Charme. Sorry for my pronunciation. In the beginning, I need to admit that I'm not a native uh, English or a French. I'm a native Romanian, so French and English aren't my mother tongue. Sorry for my English. Uh, this Pierre Charme, dedicated to his profession, he was very passionate about travel in Greece. In 1985, a routine medical checkup detected the fairly advanced inoperable cancer. The treatment weren't uh, so effective. Believing that he didn't have much longer to live, he left for Greece and in Thessaloniki, an employee of a local tourist office suggested him to take a trip to Mount Athos. Athos Mountain, as I told you in the beginning, is one of the most important centers of orthodoxy and occupies an area of 360 square kilometers located in the Halkidiki Peninsula. Athos Mountain is also called the Garden of the Mother of God because the Virgin Mary and the evangelist John would have arrived here, lost by a storm on their way to Cyprus. To get there, you need a special visa that can be obtained from Thessaloniki. Very important, women are not allowed in this mountain and the monks do not even raise female animals. This is what I read. I never went there. I don't know precisely if this is true or not. I saw only films and read articles in journals. In Mount Athos, you can stay a few nights at any monastery, but if you want to stay longer, you have to adapt to the monastic style. Life on Mount Athos is not easy. A vegetarian diet is mandatory, work is hard. It was Dr. Charmet's intention to die in these places. Père Charmet lived at the Stavronikita Monastery, located on the east coast of the peninsula. In 1987, the pain caused by the disease disappeared and the extremely rapid weight loss had stabilized. In 1987, he returned to France and to everyone's amazement, the tumor was much reduced. This miraculous cure seems to be based on a lower calorie diet and intense physical work. Following this experience, the French doctor decided to permanently move to Mount Athos. He sold everything he had in France and donated the fortune to the Holy Mountain, where he settled in 1987. In the winter of 1987, he converted to Orthodoxy. He was a Catholic. Due to his university training, he was entrusted with the position of librarian of the monastery. It is known that the monasteries on the Holy Mountain hide manuscripts of extraordinary importance for the Christian world. On January 11, 1989, as a matter of fact, I was, uh, it was my anniversary then, I was two years old because I was born in 1987, he was uh, sent to look for a book from the 14th century. Behind some shelves, he found a small crack in the wall where he found a metal handle. 
Pulling the handle, he noticed that the one square metal portion opened in the floor where he saw a staircase of about 60 steps. Descending them, he found a series of galleries where he found several manuscripts written in Old French, German and Greek, as well as a metal object in the shape of an egg 2, met two meters high. After a year, he managed to translate most of the manuscripts that gave him information about a lesser-known visitor to Mount Athos. His name was Nostradamus. The Greek manuscripts belonged to a monk named Nicostratus, who lived in Monastery Stavronikita between 1521 and 1542. I, I think that is very important to give you some information about uh, Nostradamus and why is he so famous. He was born on 14th December 1503 in Serimido Provence, southern France. From an early age, he showed a phenomenal memory. Even as a child, he could reproduce huge texts after a single reading. At 19, he went to Avignon, where he studied grammar, rhetoric, logic, math, astronomy, and music. At the University of Montpellier, he studied classical languages, including Greek. It is said, but I don't have any proof, there is no scientific proof, that at Montpellier he met François Rabelais, the famous creator of the novel Gargantua en Pantagruel. Jules César Scaliger, I think this is the correct name, sorry if I mistake, I don't have... Uh, he was one of the great philosophers of the time, invited Nostradamus uh, to live with him in Agen, Agen or Agen. The names are in Old French. In this town, he married a young woman from a good family who gave him a son and a daughter. Their happiness did not last long because a plague epidemic killed them. Following this loss, overwhelmed, Nostradamus left with an unknown destination. His biographers do not know where he spent the next ten years. And thanks to the, the discoveries made by this doctor, Pierre Charmet, we know that most of this time he was in Athos Mountain. Let's see what uh, this Pierre Charme says now. As I told you a few moments ago, this information are from the manuscript translated from French, Greek and German. This Nicostratus, this monk who lived in a hut, placed on the eastern cliff of the peninsula, led Nostradamus to the Stavronikita monastery, also located on the seashore. Here the monk the monks, in fact, gave the French noblemen lodging and the visit could be prolonged thanks to the support the astrolog astrologer received from the hermit. In the discovered manuscripts, we learn that Nicostratus was impressed by the stranger stories of unimaginable lands, pyramids, the Sphinx and Egyptian temples and agreed to be his, for him, a kind of disciple some sort of disciple. Nostradamus and Nicostratus build an energy concentrating egg using the materials the Frenchmen had brought by ship from Egypt. The egg was placed in Nicostratus' hut, away from the eyes of the other monks. It is said that in order to gain the trust of the Orthodox monks, Nostradamus told them stories from the Holy Land as well as expressing doubts about the Catholic religion. He said he wanted to become orthodox. According to Nicostratus' writings, during his year at Mount Athos, Nostradamus initiated him into the occult science, science he had learned in the East. Nicostratus said of Nostradamus that he was a strange Western noble, returned from the East and a great expert of the Holy Ones, but also of the heretical secrets of reading the stars. Uh, this is the end. There is no information regarding the reasons why the great astrologer and the prophet Nostradamus had to leave the mountain. He probably had to leave Athos in a hurry. I don't know if this information that I read in this article from that journal are true or false. I let you decide. I expect feedback from your part. And do not forget to, to subscribe to my YouTube channel and bye bye.